is Saturday, my last Shabbat in Israel. Shabbat is over and it is uh, 7.20. I'm going to preach the gospel again. I preached this morning uh, downstairs and they ran me off. A few minutes ago, somebody uh, told me it was illegal to preach the gospel in Israel. And I have been doing it successfully without any problems. So I'm going to continue doing it because the Lamb is worthy. I want to reach these people. I came here to preach. Let's do this. We get a little bit of space. i got to move my feet. Shabbat Shalom is over, so it's time for the Christian to speak. Hallelujah. It's time for the Christians to rise up and preach the gospel and tell people the truth. The Bible says Jesus is the way, the truth. Let's stop right there. If Jesus is the truth, Truth is a person. Truth is a person. There cannot be two words of God. There has to be one word of God. There has to be one truth. And the word of God became flesh. The word of God became a man. The Old Testament Hebrew Scriptures prophesy God has a son. God will send a son. There will be a Savior. There will be a Redeemer. There will be a Messiah. And the government will be upon His shoulders. His name is Jesus, Yeshua HaMashiach. He is the face of God. The face of God is the Son of God. 2,000 years ago, He came into the world with a purpose. He didn't come to hang out at conferences. Jesus came to die on the cross to demonstrate the love of God. Jesus died on the cross to show us the way. Jesus never said pray to Him. He said pray like this. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Jesus glorified His Father and the Father, Father, got a redneck voice. The Father glorified the Son. I made a D in Jewish roots class. But yet, Daddy God said, come to Israel and tell them that He is the Messiah. That Jesus is their Messiah. That Yeshua is the one. He loves you. He loves you. Yes, you, you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you, and you. For God so loved the world. See, Americans think God only loves them. Very selfish country. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son. If God told you to sacrifice your son, would you? Abraham almost sacrificed Isaac. But God said, wait! Wait! I will myself provide a lamb. Then John the Baptist came. Jesus favorite preacher John the Baptist 
We're in the new covenant. But he's still a prophet. And he lived right here in Israel. And he said in the river Jordan, Behold! Focus, focus, focus. Focus. Behold the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. Yeshua is the promised Lamb that was promised to Isaac, I mean uh, Abraham. It all goes down through the seed of David. Abraham always knew that God would provide a lamb. I'm just by myself with a great cloud of witnesses. How are you doing? How are you? Okay. Sir? Everything okay? Everything's great. Why is screaming? I'm, I'm just screaming because they won't come closer. Just so trying to reach them. them. Huh? Go to them. Well, there's other people listening too. There's other, These people are listening. These people. I'm not that loud. I have no amplification. I have no amplification. I'm not trying to hurt anybody. I've been preaching here all week. I haven't seen you. I wish I had seen you. Happy uh, New Year to you, sir. I bless you. I am here by myself, yes. I traveled the whole wide world preaching one message. Jesus is the Lamb, sir. Just don't scream, okay? I don't feel like I'm screaming that way. Now you're not screaming. Yes. I'll tone it down a little bit. I'll tone it down a little bit so I can reach them. No, you can go to them and talk to them if you want. Well, then I'll lose other people. No, don't, uh, don't scream here, okay? I need you to be quiet here, okay? Can you tell me why I have to be quiet? Because, because the other police let me preach. No, you're bothering the, uh, another police. I'm bothering who? Yeah. Who? Another people. People come to me and tell me that when? you are bothering me. I don't have to tell you who, when, why, what. Oh. Well, I'm, I'm sorry they're bothered. Quiet, okay? Thank you. <laughs> now I've lost them. Lost the fish on my hook. Come back here. Juice! No, no, I'm not done with you. Come, come, come. This is how you fish. You got to throw your net way out there. Pull it in. Pull it in. Fish. I'm saying I'm in love with a Jewish carpenter and I'm going to marry him. Please, first of all, don't scream. You bother the people. No, 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 it's not 10. And second, I right, listen now, one hour, please. Uh, and second, I want to ask you how did Jesus pray for Isaac if he's not born? Jesus didn't pray for Isaac. So what you said? I didn't know. Okay. Abraham was going to sacrifice Please Isaac. Please don't scream. Okay. I'm not screaming. Okay. I'm, not I'm not screaming. screaming. I'm not no. screaming. Dude. Be cool, dude. Be cool, dude. Okay. Abraham was going to sacrifice Isaac, Isaac on Mount Moriah. That's why there's fighting there all the time. Right, okay. So how is this connected, Jesus? How is this connected? Because the ultimate lamb sacrifice did die on Mount Moriah. The Lamb of God, Jesus Christ. When 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 the devil looks down at the world, he hates Jerusalem because he sees a red dot. And the red dot. What is red dot? Red dot, blood. The blood. Uh, the red dot. The blood. Uh, oh, okay, sorry. Okay, so when the devil sees the red dot, he's angry because that's where he was defeated. Remember when Genesis 3, he'll crush Satan under his feet? That was prophetic of when 
the snake would be on the pole and that Jesus, whoa! Jesus. Yeshua, Yeshua. Yeah, yeah I know Yeshua. Yeshua. I know Jesus. This is the only place I say Yeshua. Everywhere else I say Jesus. I know it is Jesus. Yes. So. I respect you. Thank you very much. Me too. But what is your point? What you try to say? What is the point? What's your point? Why is the point here? is, oh, to is we to get to? all need the blood. No, he didn't say okay, that. hang on. Okay, okay, here we go. We all need a blood atonement for our sins, and Yeshua is the Messiah. He's the Lamb of God. No more lambs have to be killed. That was the last thing he said on the cross. It is finished. He was marred. You couldn't recognize him as man. So why Christian make a crusade for that? That's Catholics. I'm not Catholic. I'm a I'm a protester. I I, I, I wouldn't. I'm a Christian, and I would never kill anybody. So not, those are Catholics. Not, not all the Christians, not all the Christians like that. But. I know. But I'm just saying. You're gonna do a I jet? preached outside the Catholic Church in Rome. They put me in jail. Okay. So that's how much I'm saying Christians are not Catholics. A Christian means Christ-like. A disciplined follower of Jesus Christ. Okay. The way I look at it, see this ring? I'm married to him. You see that bride dress blowing in the wind up there? Did you see it? Right over there. Okay. The church, the true church, is the bride of Christ. And, and we have dove's eyes. We're longing for him to come back. We want you. Come get us. It's a love. That's why I say I'm in love with a Jewish carpenter and I'm going to marry him one day. You're going to marry Jesus? I'm going to I'm going to be in heaven as the bride of Christ. All true Christians will be in heaven as the bride of Christ. And the one you that sure is the, the husband. You sure you're warfare? I was a low-down, dirty dog whore. Crack smoker, alcoholic, kicked my mother between the legs before Jesus saved me. I was horrible. But you know what? When he cleaned me, he cleaned me. He made me new. He said, Behold, I make all things new. Yes, I love him. I've been forgiven much, so I love much. Yes. Yes. That's true. When you've been forgiven little, you love little. Yeah, it makes sense, doesn't it? Yes. But do you know how it's much good. he it, loves it's no matter, you? It's no matter the way you choose to make love between people. It's, what does matter is that you make love? Well, we're not having that kind of love in heaven. It's a, it's a holy love. I understand what you say, but... It's a holy love. Stop, stop, stop the fighting, you know. Stop the fighting in between people. It's... Fighting between the what? The religions uh, fight against everyone all the time. The Muslims kills Jewish and Jewish, you know, all the time fights. If you do that, it's a good point. So. Well, Isaiah said there's no peace for the wicked, says the Lord. You remember reading that? I believe it's Isaiah 57, the last verse. I don't read it. I didn't read it. There is no peace. Yes, there will never be peace be. until people submit to the Prince of Peace. Until he comes back and rules and reigns Jerusalem. People, there will never be peace. There will be a false peace. But if you keep fighting, maybe will. I'm not trying to fight. I'm a lover. I no, love people. To, I, don't have a, I don't have something to behead you, sir. <laughs> okay, see. I have a Bible to kiss you. My Bible will kiss you. Okay, thank you very much. Bless you. Thank Appreciate you for coming it. back. You made my day. All three of you. The three amigos. God bless.